Alright, so I gave LR Glocks the UR gear, and uh, I went with HP defense because, I mean, he is a CC powerhouse here with no true awakening. He's pretty much a 75k. I think if I hammer up the rest of the, the gears and I... If I had, like, everything maxed out, he probably would be a 75k. I'm gonna give him the true awakening, though, so he is gonna be above 75k as well. He is the third highest CC character in the game, so as sad as uh, it sounds, I'm probably going to be using him more as a link so I can get my team to most CC possible than actually use him, use him. So having him with the most CC possible, so HP defense is the most beneficial for me, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to be using him in the Jolly King team we used yesterday. It seems that, although I might have been harsh on him the first day, or the first like time I used him, I felt like he was pretty mid. Uh, this is really the only team that he's usable on. Like, I do think I was harsh, but in reality, there isn't the best. Like, he, <laughs> he just isn't comparable to the kind of units that we just got recently. That's the thing. Um... Uh, do this. You should just AoE first to break the shield. Although Glocks is probably not going to break the shield. Might be better off. In any case, this team is pretty good. If you can go first against, you know, most people, if not everybody, then you're gonna have a really good time. The problem is, the team itself doesn't have very good CC. If you look at it, Jolly King is old, Elaine is, isn't, they are old, like they are over six months old. Jolly King is, uh, is he about to be a year old? He is, right? He was the last Valentine's Day character. And the CC is just horrendous, because not only they are old, the character, the characters that they come from are old. Like Jolly King comes from the third festival she has ever released years and years and years ago and his stats are not that much better than the uh, blue festival king the old one and elaine comes from a character that was you know pretty much older than her as well so the stats aren't the best like the cc is bad but uh, glocks does help and then zelda is also pretty old too so if you want to run glocks and you want to run this jelly king team you kind of need like Insanely high box CC. Ooh, I've seen this though. I I'm definitely gonna try this. I seen it on Twitter, and I think Sora just posted a video about this. Estorosa. Put this on. Yep. Estorosa and Assault Melee with Glocks. I don't know how effective it is against the team I'm using because so long as you put the bleed on them, they are gonna have a hard time doing damage on you. You have the 30% or is it 40% defense related stats. It's 40, right? I should check again. Not now because I'm the Lord, but you have the uh how much does Elaine give? Let me check. Dude, it's been so long since I used Elaine. She gives a buff though. And then you have the lowering from the bleed. And you have Zaldrus lowering their attack related stats by 10%. So if you go first and you apply the bleed and stuff, dude, you, you're you're really messing them up. She gives 60% crit defense. I mean if they even crit you, because you're you're lowering them by a lot. So yeah, I you know for speed running PvP ranks, this this team could be good for whales. I will say that. But I was looking at the top 100, and some of the players are still playing uh, the ungeared top 100, and no one is using this. Even though it is pretty fast, it's just... Even if you are a big whale, and you can out -CC most players, this team will get out CC'd by anybody that is also decent box CC, and is using a proper team. You know, a Sins team, or even a Goddess team, and... In my experience, going against goddesses with this team is awful, dude. <laughs> if you watched the first video, 
The fact that they can can't be Star Lord, dude. I didn't see how to revive. You're kidding me. Uh, even if I did see, I, I wouldn't have killed him anyways, would I? Unlikely. Oh, he was still lowered by the uh, the bleed and stuff. Can Glock's kill here? Mm, I think Liz might solo me. He has a, another revive. Glocks is abysmally weak, is the thing. But if I get his ult, if I get his ult, if I get his ult, his Liz is sealed. Bon is not, it, it is, but he can still debuff. Okay, it's a bot. Yeah, in general, as I was saying, against goddesses, the team is not very good. But there's not that many goddesses, so. Well, this is the revive now, so she could bond. And. Can't double attack because I'm gonna get lowered. I kept making that mistake yesterday on the Jelly King video. Because I was just like, I just wanna kill someone, and I don't have any other attacks. For a king or, or lanes, I'm just, I'm just gonna double attack with Glocks. And he kept hitting for like zero damage. She's gonna. Don't wipe me, please. You have four stacks. Oh my god. Uh. If I attack buff and then ult, the ult is gonna be lowered. That's so annoying. How much is the attack buff? 15. I might as well do this then. The attack lower is more than the attack buff. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I wanted to bleed first as well. Whatever, I'm just gonna skip. This is gonna take forever. So yeah, although I, I do believe I was maybe decently harsh on Glocks, I don't think he's amazing or anything. <laughs> he definitely could have used some more juice, you know? I think... Uh, they kind of missed the mark in a few ways. I want to AoE with Glocks, but at the same time, it's like, if I do, then I can't get the attack seal. Because against Goddess team, the attack seal is really good. You get the attack seal and the buff seal. Yeah, even without the attack lord, that single target isn't looking so good. No AoE for King. No attack seal slash buff seal. I'm probably going to lose this. Like I said, against goddesses, even the team that everyone was telling me, oh, you need to run with uh, Jelly King, it makes Glocks the best thing in the game. Against goddesses, it's very sad. Uh... Dude, I just, I just lose, right? It's mainly because, not only have clans, right? The fact that... I don't want to do it in this order, but... It's kind of bad, because then... I'm not going to be able to... Uh... Ah, whatever. That didn't even kill. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not even going to be able to get use out of the... Weak point from Elaine. But she didn't even die. Okay. Yeah, you can't lower them either. So, Elaine's... Debuff doesn't help uh, King crit. If King doesn't crit, the damage is severely lacking. Yeah, dude, against Goddesses, you just can't win. <laughs> you just can't win. With the attack seal, I'll win. Like, that, that attack seal is so good. I got one. This, this match set that I probably won't need, but... The problem is, right, the attack seal is uh, level 2, right? If it was a level 1, it would be way too strong. Like, that would be... Breaking the game level strong. So I understand why it's a level 1. But they could have made level 1 do something, you know? Level 1s that have no effect whatsoever is just attacks with a damage, attacks with a damage number... Are non-existent anymore. And there's a reason. 
It's insanely outdated. <laughs> like, characters don't release like this anymore. Level 1, if it's not a debuff card, like, this is a debuff card. So. It's just, it's just cringe. It's just... It's just crazy that they they, uh, they did my boy like this. They could have given him an effect for his uh, level two or his level one. Yes. Even if the card entirely changes on level two, like they could have just done that. Because like if you look at Milan, I know it's not the not the exact example, but her card becomes an AOE at level three. Like it because like the card completely changes to become an AOE. They could have just done that for Glocks level one. Has a debuff, maybe bleed, AOE bleed, right? Just to have something. And then level two, maybe still keep the bleed, and then also does the attack to buff seal, or just remove the bleed and just keep the buff. Dude, I don't think anyone would complain about that. <laughs> just remove the bleed. Whatever. I'll attack seal and buff seal them, who cares? But yeah, it's upsetting because I do like Lux. I just feel like, uh, if he had gotten his LR before Melly's release, it would have definitely been a different story as well. Because Melly's is way too strong. Like, he has too much CC as well. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm one-shotting these, uh, these bots here, right? But... A proper melee team from an actual decent player would have out CC'd you, then I just lost. If you get out CC'd, you lose. I don't know about demons, actually. Maybe against demons, you don't lose. But against sins, you lose. And I've demonstrated why on the other video. Oh, there's not a bot. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. You looked very body in my... <laughs> I faced you. <laughs> the reason why you lose against uh, sins going second is the attack lowers from Bond. The attack lords from Bon are Chuma. What are these? What are these, dude? What's this LR asking me doing here? What am I looking at? The uh, the attack lords from Bon are too much. Jolly King cannot do enough damage, and if Jolly King doesn't do enough damage, you just lose. And then Melly gets the rank up, and on and on and on. Like you see that, dude. If Jolly King misses the crit, you are. Looking at some pretty poor damage. And because, you know, that card is all you have. If you don't do enough damage with that card, you're kind of screwed. But it's fine because the bleed took him down enough that we can kill him here. Even without the AoE again, but... Oh no. I'm definitely not saying that... Glox is garbage anymore. But for majority of players, like 99.9% of people watching, you're never gonna use them probably. Unless they release some pretty good fairies, dude. And if they do, hell yeah. Then Glox might get some use, but the way it is right now. Because th the thing is, like, whenever a character like this comes out and it's not very good, I can maybe cope. They're like, okay. But. Mile, right? We knew for a long time, we're just like, dude, yes. they just need to release goddesses. It's like, dude, goddesses are a major part of the show and the game. Like, they, they, there's so many good goddesses, they just need to release them more and more updated. And that's what happened, and goddesses became number one, right? I don't have much, far much fairy faith, dude. Like, are they really gonna release another king? They just dropped one! They could. <laughs> No one's gonna stop them. But they just dropped one. Are they gonna another Elaine? Where are they another Hel Helbrun would be, would be a good one. But. And our fairies are... Uh, one, I've lost the cope quite a long time ago. So sorry, my fairy copers. I am not on your team anymore for a while now. I just lost all my faith. The only the only team I'm coping for for the time is humans. Major cope for humans. But fairies. I don't think it's looking so good.